Hello! My name is Kit. I am primarily a Twitch streamer, if you don't already know me. But if you do know me, then you know that my name is Kit. So, hey. Today is going to be another Get Ready With Me update. This will be the second one in the series of Get Ready With Me updates. Um, this will recap the month of October, essentially. So, let's go. Okay, let's get started. I'm trying a new audio thing, so hopefully that works out better for us this time. We're also trying new sunscreen today. I got like a super goop sample pack, so I'm trying out this one today. I usually don't like matte finishes, and I usually don't like mineral sunscreen. So, uh, let's see how this turns out. My acne is super flaring up. So we're going to need to cover that up today. I actually think that rubbed in fairly smoothly, surprisingly. Like I said, usually I don't like mineral sunscreen. We'll have to see when uh, primer and makeup goes over it, though. That's the true test. A lot of the times I don't like mineral sunscreen because it pills up when I put makeup on top. So we shall see if that is the case today. All right, uh, let me get into it. Um, so a recap of October. We're coming to an end already. It's freaking insane. October for me has been kind of adjusting from my trips that I took in August and September. If you watched the last video, I had just returned from TwitchCon, so I had a lot to say about that. And I'll say, like, right after TwitchCon, I felt very motivated to, you know, start making content, be active on all the socials. I wanted to go down different content avenues. I was just so inspired. But as I started diving into that, I felt so limited by essentially like my workforce, I guess. Like I'm just me. I'm one person. I can only do so much. And sometimes at certain times of the month, I just really struggle to keep myself on track. I struggle to think positively about myself and my content. When you're present on social media, I feel like it's very easy to constantly compare yourself to everyone else on social media. And not only in like a like a body image kind of way or like an aesthetic kind of way, but just like how productive they are. Like if they're consistently posting about things that are happening in their life, at least for me, this is where I fall flat on myself. I kind of wonder, I you know, I get in my own head and I'm like, why can't I be this consistent? Why? Maybe I should check this with a little. Why can't I be this consistent? Why can't I post this much? How do they afford to do that? You know, they're a smaller creator than I am even. I just, I don't know, man. I get so in my head that I just, it's really hard to deal with. I don't, I don't know how to have friends in the content creator space but also keep to myself and focus on my path. You know, it's it's just a, a delicate balance. And I'm really struggling with it this month. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we've got the pilling starting already. What did I say? What did I say? This is why I don't like mineral sunscreen. No matter what I do, it pills. Ew. The way that this is like swiping over my pores is really gross. But anyway, ultimately I started this month with like so many things, like I felt overwhelmed with my to-do list. I was like, oh my gosh, I have so many things to record and edit and post, but this is a good thing. And, you know, ultimately it all has to get handled by me because I am my editor and no, I cannot afford a YouTube editor. So don't ask in the comments. I just, I don't know. I want to know how solo content creators do it. I even have the luxury of not having a nine to five job or just, you know, any other job on the side. Like this content creation is what I do full time, but I really struggle to keep up with it. Mostly because I don't know the direction of where I'm going, I guess. I just feel so lost, lost in this big, vast content creation world, trying to find myself. Yeah. I want to know the secret. I want to know the time management hacks. I just, I feel so exhausted all the time. The day feels too short. Time slips away too quickly from me. And I know I'll get more efficient with editing as I do it more, but I just, just can't help but think like, I don't know how to do it. I don't, I don't know how to manage it all. I think I mostly just get in my head a lot and I, I really struggle mentally 
to get into a groove with things. I think my ADHD takes over a lot of the time and I struggle with decision paralysis. But yeah, that's 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 been my month. Sorry, that was probably very weirdly explained, but that's what I've been struggling with on the content creation side this month. So if you have any tips on uh, time management, I've been trying out new schedules this month and I'm sure my viewers are hella annoyed at me swapping up my schedule so often, but I'm just trying to find something that works for me. <sighs> I'm trying to find something I can be consistent in, so not something that's too early or too late because inevitably if I'm forcing myself to get into that swing of things like there are going to be days where I'm really just not feeling it and I it's going to be too difficult to hold myself accountable to that you know extremely early start time or I don't know I don't I don't know how to manage it all if you have any tips please let me know I feel like with the uh matte mineral sunscreen the foundation has also turned out very matte which I don't like I just don't like a matte finish on me I think it makes me look very pasty and like I stay inside all day and play video games, which I do, but I don't want to look like I do, you know? Time to warm up the face with some contour, I reckon. This will add some life back into my pale, pasty, ghosty face. So earlier this month, I actually went to a concert. Wow. And I know what you're saying. Oh my God, Kit, you went to a concert? Um, I'm not really a, con a concert person. Um, I honestly would have rather have stayed home. But I, you know, I'm trying to like push myself to go outside more, say yes more, and just do more things, experience the experiences, because that's what they say is good for you. So I said yes, <laughs> and I went to this concert. Uh, my dad had extra tickets. Uh, the big, like what do you call, like, main act? Main performer? Main artist? Most popular artist? Uh, most anticipated artist there uh, was Breaking Benjamin. Uh, but I also saw Stained, Daughtry, and Lakeview, which, if you don't know any of those artists, or maybe you do, they, well, the last, the, the last three that performed, I think Lakeview is more of a newer artist, but Breaking Benjamin, Stained, and Daughtry have all been around for quite some time. They are alternative, like, rock slash screamo metal. So you're probably thinking, oh, you went to that type of concert? Yes, I did. And I felt very out of place. Um, I tried to dress for the occasion. Uh, so I wore black and I did bold makeup. So I had fun, you know, getting ready for the concert. And overall, I guess I had fun at the concert too, but I don't know. I just don't know if concerts are the right choice for experiencing experiences, you know? The music was so loud. Like we sat pretty close to the stage. So the speakers were right there and they were just so loud. No, I didn't have earmuffs. And my, my hearing felt very muffled. Like when a song would end and there would be some like dead space, you know? I'd be like, what's wrong with my ears? Because I would just be like, everything would be so quiet and dulled. You know, it was weird. It was so weird. I got a corn dog there. Yum, yum, yum. At one point I had to get up to go use the restroom. And when I came back from the restroom, there were people trying, trying to steal my seat. And I had to be like, um, I think I was sitting there. And they were like, oh, well, these are our seats. And I was like, no, these are our seats. The bad thing though, was that because my dad had the tickets for us, so I didn't have the, the tickets on me. And I was in the middle of like swapping phones. So I didn't have phone service on my phone that day. So I couldn't like text my dad to, to send me the tickets. Uh, I would have had to physically go and find him. We didn't sit together. I should probably say that. We didn't sit together. So it was uh, my dad and his friend and then my brother and I. And he got two pairs of tickets. So one pair went to him and his friend to go sit in a different location and Jade and I. So yeah, I didn't have the tickets to prove that these were my seats. But luckily, the uh, lady that was sitting next to me on the other side was like, yeah, they, they had these seats. And then the seat stealers were like, oh, well, we can move over. We can make room. That's okay. I was like, oh, okay. So then they stole 
like the next two adjacent seats. And then when those, when our neighbors, our seat neighbors came back to claim their seats, they were like, oh, all right, we'll move. So stupid, man. What's wrong with these kinds of people? Additionally, there were a lot of drunk people there. I guess a concert is the place to get lit. So uh, there was a drunk guy that almost fell on me. He was literally walking. I, wa I want to mimic it for you guys. He was literally walking like this. Like, can I, can I pull this tight so you guys can see? He was walking like that. He stopped. Like, uh, there was a like an event coordinator or like just a staff member that, you know, kind of saw that he was walking very, he was like kind of stumbling into railings and stuff and like holding on to, to stuff. And then when he had to, he got to the part where he had to walk without holding on to anything or he would be like holding on to people. He like stopped right in front of me and was like slowly falling backwards into me. And I was like, oh God. And the staff member had to like, keep pulling him back up and then a different staff member came up to like hold him and and walk him away so embarrassing it wasn't even the main performer like he was drunk on the second artist that performed so i don't know what happened to him but i hope he had a safe rest of his night and i hope he gets some help so yeah, I don't know. I like I said, I don't think concerts are my kind of thing. Um, I I appreciate the musical artists that um, you know film their tours for like a cinematic experience, like put it into a movie, because then I can still get a taste of the concert scene without the loudness and the stinky drunk people and the the dirtiness and the germs. I want to watch from the comfort of my own home at my own volume. I especially like what Taylor Swift did, like her movie in theaters, because I mean, it's still a public experience, you know, like a, a lot of people go to the movies by themselves as like a treat yourself kind of experience. I mean, I, I like the idea of that. If I were to ever go to a concert again, I would want it to be, you know, in that sort of setting. I just realized this, the light on my mirror died. Dude, it doesn't last long at all. I tried it every single time and it doesn't last whatever i recently got this i mean i'm sure you guys have all heard of the uh i mean i guess those that follow the beauty space i'm sure you've all heard of the lavender lust i think it's called ysl liquid blush that's been popping off and going crazy all over social media i was not able to get my hands on the purple version but i got the coral version because i do really really like the milk makeup in the color spritz which is a very coral color so i was like i'll give this a try this is definitely more orangey obviously this is much much more orangey but this is i don't know i really like the col the color of the corally orangey undertone so i wanted to give this a try i thought it would be fun um so i've i've been into using this lately so we're going to use that today orange it truly is orange like it's weird you wouldn't think that it would work out but it does i do find it to be very sheer but buildable so i usually put on a couple layers of this stuff the color is beautiful and it's just very very light you know and it dries down to kind of a powdery finish even though it goes on liquid but yeah maybe i'm blush blind i just really like a bold cheek so i go all out with my blush oh, orange quite literally wow that's kind of a harsh line i should blend that out more <clears throat> great i get to yappin and then my makeup dries down really quickly and i don't fully blend it out yeah orange obviously the coral and the milk makeup blush and you know this blush are very very different but i like it here are the the, the milk makeup and the the ysl coral I'm pretty sure it's Coral Clash, but it does not say on here. Clearly, they're two very, very different colors. I just liked the coral that was in the Milk makeup, so I wanted to try All Out Coral. And yeah, it's very orange, but it somehow works. Kind of crazy.
I got invited to uh, be a part of the Mythical Rust Creator server this year. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a limited time server that I think I think they do like Mythical Minecraft too. So I think like the, the, the team that puts it on, I would call them like the Mythical team. I don't know. It's, it's like a yearly event um, that's open for creators only where a server, in this case, a Rust server, is open for a limited amount of time where for the majority of the time that it's open it is just pve kind of just like making friends making content with other content creators on the server there's like events that are held and we're all kind of told to build in like a small area so that we're close to one another and then chaos ensues on the last day and it's an all-out pvp brawl and we destroy everything that we can so it's only open for about a week. So yeah, I've been making a cute base and um, I'm I'm sad that it's going to have to get destroyed. But, uh, you know, hopefully it will have all been worth it. I will say yeah, I'm probably not very excited for the last day just because I, you know, I'm, I'm sad to have my building be destroyed. But I also just don't love PvP. I'm not good at it. I will probably be the first to die. And then it's kind of like once you die, you lose your stuff. And I mean, you, there's a chance for you to get back to your stuff, but you got to run all the way back there naked and armorless and weaponless. And that's that's not going to go well. I already know. I I just want to build. That's that's all I want to do in that game. It is it's like a a survival game normally, so you know, like you go and you get resources, you build a base and you go and you raid other bases and that's like the premise of the game. I don't really know what the full on lore is of the game. I think it's like an apocalyptic universe where like something has happened. There's these scientists that are all over the map that are aggressive. You don't want to go near them because they will shoot you. And who knows what they're doing? They're scientists. So it's kind of their world and we're just surviving in it. But uh, for that reason, I would say Rust isn't usually my cup of tea when it comes to games. There are PvE servers out there, I've heard. But I don't know. I think the community that mainly plays Rust isn't really my cup of tea either. They kind of just remind me of Call of Duty Bros. So, so I don't think that Rust is like my kind of game any other time of the year. But for a creator-specific server where I know that there's going to be nice, friendly people on board, I'm, I'm all for it. It's, it's been a good experience. Here I am yapping away and not doing my makeup. Gosh, of course. Of course I'm doing that. But yeah, I guess I can talk about uh, how terrible PMS is. Not that you guys probably want to know. So TMI, if you don't like this, then skip through it. But holy crap, it's been hitting me extra hard this month. Again, I feel like I was so motivated at the beginning of the month. And now I, I'm i struggling to find motivation. I just, I feel like it's hitting me extra hard this month that I've been so emotionally unstable, which is, is weird to admit. But I've definitely spent the last few days like just being sad and crying and contemplating life, <laughs> contemplating my content creation avenue. And I just... It's not a fun place to be in. Really hope I can get out of this soon. But yeah, I guess I should say I'm sorry for any projected sadness, canceled streams. Just know I've been in a mental war with myself and it's it's really hard sometimes to deal with it on my own. And I, I never want to not put my best self forward when it comes to doing streams for you guys or recording videos. But sometimes I've just got to keep pushing. And I will say I almost didn't record this video today just because I felt sad still. Just kind of like reminiscing about what's happened this month and kind of just talking about it out loud. Getting it off my chest has felt better. Which maybe that's weird. Thanks for listening. <clears throat> this is silly, but one of my fears of recording these videos <laughs> is that I'm going to like pick my nose or something. And then leave it in the recording on us. Like, forget to edit it out. And then it'll post on YouTube. And then I'll be picking my nose on YouTube. I just, sometimes I notice, like, whether it's my makeup that gets pilled up or, like, dry skin. Because I struggle with dry skin around my nose. So I'm constantly, like, trying to, to scrape it off my nostrils so that I don't look like 
I just snorted cocaine and there's some left over on my nose or something. I don't know. Freaking hate having dry skin, dude. Hey, no licking. No licking. I tell her no licking because otherwise she licks and licks and licks and then she throws up and for those that don't know i have a loft bed and she sleeps with me at night and she always tries to throw up off the edge of the bed so i will wake up jolt awake to her throwing <coughs> off the edge of the bed which i don't want because then it's gonna splatter and or hit things on the way down she's thrown up on like a table and it's splattered everywhere she's thrown up down the ladder she's thrown up in a plant just would rather her throw up on the blanket on my bed so that i can just and then throw it in the wash you know kitty what did i just say no licking and for those that are like oh no you don't really know it's just it's just natural i get it i know i understand do you want to come over and clean up her daily throw up then i don't control her licking she will literally throw up every single day. I have hairball vitamins for her that she takes. And if she does not take them, she will throw up every day. I'm sorry. I don't like being woken up at 4 a.m. to <coughs> and having to shoot awake and also wash my bedding. She's getting the sunflower. Sunflower time. Now she's a sunflower. <laughs> that also keeps her from licking. When she tries to continuously defy me. Mm. Here's something I can talk about. I just finished the Bates Motel, which is a TV show available on Prime. If you haven't watched it, I would recommend it. If you like murder, mystery, true crime, suspense, kind of, it's good. There's a little bit of uh, triggering scenes, though, that I cried at, to be honest, because it made me very uncomfortable. Aside from those two scenes, I think one happens in the first episode, unfortunately, which initially really turned me off from the show. I decided to keep going. And with those who know me and know how picky I am about the types of shows that I watch and or the content that is displayed in them, it's not so bad. I don't know. Not too many uncomfortable scenes, in my opinion. And that's a lot coming from me, I would like to think. But yeah, I just finished that show last night. <gasps> I cried and bawled my eyes out at the end. It's an ending where you're like, no, I don't want it to happen. But you know it needs to happen. So you're like, mm, it's... Yeah, it needed to happen. But, <laughs> you know? And I can appreciate a series that actually, you know culminates their production to an end rather than leaving you hanging and then canceling the rest of the show. So this show, it's five seasons and it actually has an ending. So if you haven't seen it yet, would recommend. And that is it for makeup today, I think. I'm gonna go dry my hair, even though it's basically dry. I'm worried I put too much product in it today. <laughs> but I'm gonna go dry my hair and uh, come back and then I'll film the intro and outro. <sighs> Thank you so much for watching all of that and listening to me and uh, just being here, making it this far in the video. Thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, don't forget to leave a like so that it tells the algorithm that this video is good and pushes it out to more people. It would really help me a lot. If you want to, leave a comment. If you don't already, please follow me on Twitch. On my Twitch channel, we do a lot of get ready with me and chit chat. Also just video games, whatever is appropriate for the season. I play anything and everything. Right now, since it's October, we've been playing a lot of scary games. Also the mythical Rust server that I was telling you about. I will see you guys next month for the next get ready with me in the series. If there's any other type of content that you guys would like to see me do here on YouTube, please tell me. Let me know. Give me some ideas. Love you. Bye.